You missed this morning's episode of Revive Radio? Well, guess what? You can catch that playback on YouTube. All you have to do is go to Revive underscore POC you on YouTube to find more it's information. It's Tuesday. It's my favorite day of the week, man. So you already know I'm coming live with some energy because Revive is alive. Revive is alive. Revive is alive. Revive is alive.com is the place where you need to be right now, man. Click that link in my bio, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Revive underscore POC so it can take you directly where you need to be, which is Revive is alive.com. Like I tell you each and every morning, you got to get up anyway, so why not get up with your girl, POC? 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Start your morning on February 25th. Yesterday was definitely a tough day. Um, the 24th of February, 224.20, was definitely a really tough day for a lot of people around the world, you know, nationally, internationally. Um, that was the day where, you know, they had Kobe Bryant's memorial. Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful memorial. It was actually held at the Staples Center, the house that Kobe built, you know, brick by brick. Um, and it was definitely something amazing to see. I definitely watched the live streaming uh, service of the memorial. It was definitely amazing to see. Shout out to Shaquille O'Neal. Shout out to Michael Jordan. Honestly, for keeping it real, um, telling stories that we may not have ever heard about, uh, and just, you know, giving us more insight as to Kobe Bryant. You know, we all know him as the Mamba. We know him as this amazing basketball player. But sometimes you, you don't feel like you truly know these people until they're gone, you know? And, and that's when most of the stories come out. That's when, you know, most of the pictures, the things that you don't see in front of the screen, the behind the scenes stuff starts to come out. So I'm um, seeing those, you know, individuals such as Shaquille O'Neal and Michael Jordan get emotional during that memorial service was definitely touching to me um, to know that there's still real people out here living in reality. <laughs> so yes, I definitely wanted to touch on that. Shout out to his daughters um, and his wife, Vanessa, for holding it down the entire time at the memorial. I know that was really tough for her to come up there to talk about, you know, not just her late great husband, but to also talk about her child. Child, you know, um, her losing a child is, is I, I, something I know can definitely be devastating. I don't have kids myself, but just being in that position is definitely a position that no parent ever dreams about, you know, dream about being in. So I definitely want to send my blessings and my condolences to Vanessa Bryant and all the families, all seven other families, you know, who was on that helicopter, who's going through the same pain that they're going through as well. So I definitely want to make sure that we touched on that and sent our condolences their way. Um, once again, just rest in peace, Kobe Bryant, and let his legacy just live on in peace. Let his legacy live on in peace. I'm just going to keep it like that. Um, also, I just want to also say rest in peace, Pop Smoke. I didn't get a chance to talk about, you know, everything that happened last week with the whole Pop Smoke situation because we were locked in with Fashion Week. But... I definitely just want to say something um, about that when it comes down to, you know, this situation. I don't even want to touch on the situation um, and, and go too much in detail, but I definitely want to just say, just watch who you're truly allowing, you know, in your space. Watch all nouns. When I say nouns, I mean person, places, and things. Watch the nouns that you allow in your space, you know, that you allow to suck up your energy, that you allow to just be around you, knowing too much information about you, whatever it may be. Just make sure you watch how you move. Um, shout out to Gilly the King here in the city of Philadelphia as well. He also made um, a great point about just watching how you move in other cities. You know, you might get comfortable with networking and meeting new friends and people on social media and different things like that. But most of these things are illusion. <laughs> most of them, nine times out of 10, they are illusions. So you don't really know what's going on until you get into the heat of things. So um, definitely make sure you just watch how you move, not just in your city with the nouns that are around you, you know, the person, place, the things that are around you, but also how you move when you're out of your own city um, because things can definitely get real. So I definitely want to just make sure that we make sure we understand the lesson that came out of this pop smoke death um, because this is something that was untimely once again and this is something that was definitely a shock shocker to the culture um because he just dropped the album he just you know was starting to get a lot of buzz around his name around his music so to, to hear something like this recently after dropping an album is definitely you know uh, really big to the culture so definitely make sure you just watch how you move and lastly it sounds so bad you know lastly we just keep saying rest in peace rest in peace but definitely rest in peace to Katherine Johnson who was NASA's mathematician um, she actually died uh, yesterday at 101 years old. She will always be remembered as an American hero and pioneer. Her legacy will not be forgotten. Everything that she 
she did with NASA. So definitely make sure you guys go check out her story. If you have not seen the movie Hidden Figures starring Taraji B. Henson, I encourage you all to go see that movie. That's an incredible 215-853-6803. Once again, that was 215-853-6803. Hit us up, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Revive underscore POC. Once again, that's Revive underscore POC. Also, man, this is the last week of Black History Month. Shout out to everybody who's been supporting and, you know, giving out information and making sure that they are using their platforms wisely to make sure people know that black history is still happening today, February 2020, pushing out those correct agendas to make sure people are educated and re-educating themselves throughout this month of February. You're definitely getting props from your girl, POC, and the whole Revive family. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, shout out to everybody who celebrated Black History Month and black excellence first and foremost and speaking about black excellence i definitely want to give a shout out to netflix netflix is continuously you know making sure that our voices and our and our, our voices are heard and our stories are being seen um you know how i was just talking about Catherine johnson on the other end definitely want to shout out to netflix because netflix is going to be doing a four-part limited series in honor of madam cj walker yes yes in honor of madam cj walker Octavia Spencer plays the first African-American self-made millionaire. See, I'm Madam C.J. Walker in the Netflix um, limited series. Netflix has released a trailer with the self-made, the, it's called Self-Made, inspired by the life of Madam C.J. Walker, starring Octavia Spencer. The four-part limited series is, tells an exciting story about Madam C.J. Walker, the pioneer hair care entrepreneur who was the first African-American woman to become a self-made millionaire. The show features Blair Underwood, uh, Tiffany Haddish, and more. Netflix project. The Netflix project is inspired by her book, um, Her Own Ground, and is to be released on March 20th. Um, the book was inspired by. I'm sorry. The book was actually written by her great great granddaughter. Um, and the release for Self Made will be released on Netflix on March 20th. Shout out to Netflix once again, man. This is what it's all about. This is one thing that I do to make sure I keep Revive alive is to make sure our stories are seen and our voices are being heard at all times. And that's one thing I would definitely give Netflix props for doing. They're making sure that they give their platform, you know, to others of, of color to make sure that we are inspired in our own stories and make sure we are inspiring ourselves, you know, by being able to produce, direct, co-produce, co-direct, you know, star, film, everything in our own stories, in our own plays. Um, so I definitely want to big up Netflix for everything that they're doing. Shout out to Octavia Spencer for landing this big role. Um, you know, planning, playing Ma Madam C.J. Walker is not going to be an easy one, especially with all the back and forth about her story. I definitely have some back and forth issues about Madam C.J. Walker. And I hope that this, you know, uh, limited series actually clears up a lot of, you know, information that I have as well. So shout out to Netflix. Shout out to Octavia Spencer. Shout out to Madam C.J. Walker. Let these legacies continue to live in peace. You already know what time it is. It's your girl, Let's PLC. Some trending topics and current events on this lovely, lovely Tuesday. I definitely want to get into this Harvey Weinstein story. So yes, as we all know, Harvey Weinstein was found guilty on rape and criminal sex act. The former mu movie producer Harvey Weinstein has been found guilty of a felony sex crime and rape at his trial on, in New York City. He could be sentenced to decades in prison, although he has not been sentenced yet. The Associate Press reports that the jury, which consists of seven men and five women, took five days to reach a verdict. Really? Five days? But anyway, the charges against Weinstein was convicted um, on a related case back in 2006 for sexual assault and 2013 for rape. He was found not guilty on the charges of predatory sexual assault, which could have landed him a life sentence in jail. After he was found guilty, Harvey Weinstein, who was supposed to be headed to Rikers Island, was reportedly transferred to Bellevue Hospital for chest pain. Yeah, it's a lot going on. Just like he walked in that courthouse on a walker, man. I definitely want to hear your thoughts and opinions about this Harvey Weinstein situation, especially with especially everything that's going on and what happened with the Bill Cosby situation. And that's not just it. It's so much going on. Drop your comments below. Revive underscore POC. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We definitely want to include you in this conversation. Everything we do is a football effect. It's for you and about you. So definitely listen up to this because it's a lot going on. So right after that on Monday, um, the Associated Press released also a story about Rick James. 
So Rick James' estate is now faced a $50 million lawsuit for a woman who claimed that she was raped by the singer in 1979. Per the report, the woman says James assaulted her when he visited the youth detention center she lived at when she was only 15 years old in Buffalo, New York. She alleged that she did not know who James was at the time of the incident. Drop your comments below. So this when it also comes to the James on. situation, when it comes to this Harvey Weinstein situation, what are your thoughts? What are your opinions? You can find more information about both of those stories on our website at reviveisalive.com. Once again, that's reviveisalive.com. Um, these stories keep coming up. People keep opening their mouths. What is really going on? What is happening? I want to know your opinion. I want to know your thoughts on what is going on. Why do you think people are coming out, you know, years and years later? Why do you think people are coming out after people are, you know, um, now finding, uh, being found convicted for this, these types of uh, allegations and these types of charges? Why do you think people are now speaking up? I definitely want to know your opinion. Hit us up, Revive underscore POC, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Revive underscore POC. You'll see right after this break, you find more information about who was actually making boss moves out here in 2020. Yes, Disney. We talking Disney on the other end of this commercial. We talking Alabama. Well, to be so a boss, much more. Man. Yes, you need to stay locked to revive Money Talk Mondays each and every Monday. Definitely stay locked. Speaking of being a boss, Disney actually just made some boss moves today. Bob Iger has stepped down as the CEO of Walt Disney Company, effective immediately today. He actually handed over the position to Bob Check. P, who is now the new CEO and board of directors announced today, February 25th. Iger will stay on Disney through the end of his contract, which will be December 31st, 2021. So he still has a, a year long decision. Once you, you know, utilize your time in that space and you did what you were supposed to do, it's always, it's always the right time to pass it down to someone who you believe can take the company further. So big up to Disney for always making boss moves and, you know, showing people how to be a boss. Um, I definitely wanted to shout that out with some money news. Make sure you guys stay lock money talk monday so you can figure out how you too can be a boss and find seven different ways it takes seven streams of income to be completely financial free free that's what we want to be we want to be financially free and we have to find seven streams of income in order to do that nothing on the timeline so make sure you guys subscribe to that youtube channel as well as that newsletter so you can stay locked with everything we got going on if you go to revivesalive.com right now that newsletter is actually going to pop right up at you just drop your email in the subscription box and we're going to send you an email just simply saying thank you thank you for supporting us here revive radio and going forward you'll get more information about everything that Revive has their hands on. So definitely make sure you stay locked. And don't forget, we're uploading so many different exclusive interviews, red carpets, and behind the scenes to our YouTube channel as well. So you don't want to miss that. So make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel. Speaking of that, I just want to give a huge shout out and say thank you to Philly Fashion Week for hosting us here at Revive Radio, Revive Media, all last week here in the city of Philadelphia at the Fashion District, the brand new Fashion District here in the city of Philadelphia. I encourage everyone to go check that out like really go check it out it has so much to offer you know just the culture of fashion here in the city of philadelphia especially if you're interested in fashion i would have to check this there. story out like i know it's not just me when it comes to the state of alabama my eyebrows raised i'm just like what is really going on with the state the state truly needs to be revived in all types of ways from judicial system to you know the school system it, it's so many different things healthcare, so many different things when it comes down to the state of alabama that just makes my skin crawl but check out this story alabama prepares to execute a man found responsible for murdering three police officers without even pulling a single trigger if all goes as planned alabama will execute nathaniel wood ne uh, nathaniel woods next week a black man convicted in 2004 for murdering three police officers at a dope house in Birmingham, Alabama, making him the first prisoner executed in the state this year. And guess what? He's innocent. He's innocent, you guys. It's so much evidence to prove that this man is innocent, but we're talking about the state of Alabama. More information about this story as well. Up another amazing episode here of Revive Radio, man. Revive is alive. Revive is alive. Revive is alive. Dot com is a place where you need to be each and every morning, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Turn your radios up. Spread the word. Spread the message. Tell a friend to tell a friend, man. Everything we do here, Revive Radio, is for you and about you. So definitely stay locked. Check out our news stories and press release on Revive is alive. Dot com. Subscribe to the YouTube.